Okay, Lauren. Uh, we just played a bunch of games with Alex. Mm -hmm. Wrap, wrap it up. What were you thinking about? What was your focus on? How were you mentally? Give it to us. Um, I think overall, I was running the plays and running the shots, and I was being patient with the ball until I got the right one that I could either like cap off the shot with or just move it and um, I was being well, I guess I was being patient with it and just not going for too much too soon and so or just like a arm shot I was trying to stay away from that and just make sure I was set up for every shot and just placed it where I wanted it to go and I was thinking more and thinking more clearly than this morning and not getting upset if I lost a, sh a point or a game or whatever, so I think that was all a lot better. So I'd give myself an A plus for this match. Excellent, Alex. Uh, what did, from an opponent's perspective, what were Lauren's strengths? Uh, she could get every ball to see, and my C backhand is trash. I can't do anything with it get it for that and she definitely I think she missed like three returns off serve so that was really solid and I mean she really didn't miss many ground strokes at all did you feel she was going for too much or there was no feeling of that was there no. there was a lot of patience at the start of the point uh, Lauren I thought it was fantastic uh, I thought you served very well, you served smart, you went to one a couple of times when, you know, you're starting to think, you know, you're, you're asking that question is, where does my opponent think this is going? And yeah. that, that's the first question you ask. So you're moving away from what you think as the primary objective as, as to what they think is the primary. And there was definitely a couple of times they could have maybe went to A a little bit sooner instead of going back to like C or D, which I'll start to realize that a little bit sooner. You have a very good awareness of that now. Yeah, definitely. I agree. Um, I, I, I think the returns, I think that's a good point. We haven't done anything on returns and uh, you know, you did great with it. Uh, the, the biggest thing is, is you've got a spot to hit to at the start of a point that creates so much, which is, sea, which is deep to sea, that creates so much pressure because Alex, Alex has got to do well. When you hit a deep to see, he's got to do well to get back to neutral. Yeah. It's almost impossible for him to be on offense, for you to be on defense after that shot. It happened this morning against Matt. It happened today. It's going to continue to happen. You will play an opponent that all of a sudden they like that shot. It's going to be rare. So your deep to see was really, everything was built on top of that. Because you've got a place to rally. You, you know you're going to draw errors. You know you're going to get short balls, and you know you're not going to get hurt. Yeah. And then you can you can keep climbing to D, or you can you can open it up to A. I would say when you do go to A, improve slightly with your core position. Like flow through. Yeah. Well, well, there's a bit of flow, or there's at least probably a. a or get up to it a little bit sooner. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Instead of waiting for it to yeah. Come back. And don't try and bang it too hard with just your arm. Yeah. Um. But, you know, all of the fundamental work we did is coming out now. Yeah. The, the exaggeration of the stay at the end of the shot, I'm seeing it. And there's obviously less, because you're playing a point, mm -hmm. but it's a lot more than what you were doing. Yeah. You're doing a lot less running. Yeah, I definitely feel that. Cause you, like the couple, there's like a couple points where Alex got me like running back and forth, and I was on the defense, and there wasn't too many. There was maybe like two or three. Or yeah. So, and usually I'm running like the whole match. I'm running like back and forth trying to retrieve the ball. Yep. Yep. Deep C. Can you, you, and you're looking for so many more forehands. Yeah. Uh, you know, start of the week you were accepting backhands, and the run around forehand was like, why? You know? Yeah. Why do that? I like my backhand. Why would I do it? Now we understand the three are we upgrade, we double, and we freeze. And you're getting yeah. you're getting a lot of that. Really good. Um, you know, and I think the last thing is, uh, you know, you're just in a better frame of mind. Mm -hmm. you're, you're not 
freaking out and panicking when you lose some points. You're understanding why you're losing points. I think a big thing is, you know, you lost some points out there and it's like, well, how many times is Alex going to hit that shot in the next hour? Yeah. You know, he, he hit some good shots, but it's kind of a one-off kind of deal. So, you know, we just don't sweat it. We just don't sweat it. You let that go. Yeah. And you get back to your patterns. So I thought that that was better. You know, certainly better than this morning. And this morning was good, but this was better. Yeah, this was a lot better. Yeah, you, you had less anxiety and, and a lot more comfort uh, on the court playing points. Yeah. So, you know, this, where we're headed with this is to get you into a tournament, just like Sasha, you know, a big tournament, and you can do this. Yeah. You can feel like this. You know, it, it takes time, and, and it takes trust, and it takes courage to, to let go a little bit and not sweat the small stuff and, and not get upset with the errors. But, um, you know, this is, a, this is a nice little preview of a match you're going to play here fairly soon that, that's, you know, going to mean a lot and you can be this relaxed and calm and focused and, and see the court as clearly as you did today because yeah. you're seeing the court very well yeah. we've been able to remove the focus on you and put it on the other side and on the opponent and it just it just takes all the pressure and just gets rid of it, it doesn't exist mm -hmm. uh, alright guys I loved it, good job Alex thanks for coming out today, uh, a little more spin on the high forehand alright, cheers uh, one last thing is I know how well Matt and Alex can play and they can play a lot better both of them a lot better than they played today and I'm going to give because I'm going to give a lot of the credit to you you made them play bad you took away what they wanted to do and you made them constantly uncomfortable and that's a big thing is that and you did it, you know, it's not like you had to step your game up and play big and, and play amazing. Your patterns of play and your depth especially and your depth to see made them play bad. So it's like, you know, you can go, you can go out there and say, well, this player is good. I'm like, well, tell me about their B game because, well, I'm not going to let them play their A game. You didn't let Matt or Alex play their A game today. You took that away from them. So it's, it's, it's a different deal of saying... I don't, I don't have to go out and play my A game today because I'm going to make you play your B. That's what you want. That's a big part of tennis. And I think in the past, you, you know, I get the feeling that you put too much pressure on yourself saying, I need to go out there and play great today. Yeah. And that's not what it's about. The number one thing is, how do I run some patterns that make you uncomfortable and break you down? Or try to beat them at their own game. Silly. Yeah. Or try to outrun them. Yeah doesn't work we don't want that you know there were some times then you know um, Alex got some B forehands a little more you know in the last 15 minutes but it was tough for him to do anything because you've broken down a lot of the other stuff around that yeah. so that was that was good we're all about making the opponent uh, not give them what they want take away their strengths